Hey guys, how you doing today? This is Mr. Maestas and I'm going to talk to you about properties of logarithms. So logarithms have properties just like exponentials have properties. Um, if you remember how we had like a power raised to a power, we multiply the exponents. So it's similar to that because we know that logarithms are just inverses of exponentials, so they also have properties. So I'm going to go through the properties really quickly here and then show you a few examples of where we'd use them to solve some log logarithmic equations. Okay, so you're going to want to write down each of these properties. So the first property is the power property, and it just means that if you have a number in front of a log, you can bring that number as the power of what's inside the log. The next one is called the product and or quotient property. Um, if we have, you remember how we, if we multiply two, um, if we had two bases that were the same and we multiply them, we would add the powers. Well, that's basically what's happening here. If we have two logarithms with the same base and we, we're adding them together, we could take the insides and multiply them together. Same thing works for the quotient. If we're subtracting them, we can divide. The next one is the equality property. And we went over this already. If the logs are the same, we could put the insides equal to one another. And then, of course, we could change it to exponential form if we wanted to. So these are the basic properties. And there are two more that I'll go over at the end that are kind of neat to use. So let's take a look at an example. So um, go right here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use a property. You notice it has a plus, right? And so, so we're going to multiply the insides because the bases are the same, right? So we're going to go and take this. I'm going to say this is log base 2 of x plus 5 times 3. And we're going to equal that to log base 2 of 12. Now this is just like what we did the other day, right? Now that we have the two bases the same and it's equal, we're going to take the inside. I'm just going to switch this around here. And put those equal to each other. And solve for x. And that's all there is to it. Subtract 15 of both sides. Is that um, negative 3 so X is negative 1 we want to check that to make sure it works it does work in there so we're good all right so that's all there is to it use the property so that you can use the property of equality why don't you try one now so so I got one here Can you try okay try that one real quick let's see if you get the right answer it is there it is, two. If you got that, you're good. All right, so let's take a look at this one here, number two. So what are we going to do here? There's actually a lot of, a lot of, uh, of no, I wouldn't say a lot of steps, but a lot of things you, you need to take in consideration. So here's a, a number in front of a log. So we're going to raise that up here as a power. That's the first thing we're going to do. So 64 to the 1 half power. And then uh, let's let's hold on to this minus. We'll do that in the next step. And then this two thirds is in front of a log, so we're going to bring that up there too. Log base three of eight to the two thirds. All right, now we got to let's go and compute that out. Um, the sixty four to the one half is the square root of sixty four, which is eight. I'll put this guy here. And then 8 to the 2 thirds, well, the third root of 8 is 2, and 2 squared is 4, so that's going to be 4. And if you don't remember how to do that, go back to the video that I did these uh, fractional powers on. Um, it was last semester. So then we're going to, we have a minus here, so we're going to divide. We're going to put these together as division. And again, you should be referencing those properties that I had on the, on the video here a little earlier. Now that we have them equal and we have the same bases, we can put these guys equal to one another. Cross, let's multiply 8 to both sides, and we get 3x minus 4 equals 32. Add 4. 3x equals 36. Divide by 3. x is, I think, 12 here. Okay. As long as this works in here, we're good. All right? So why don't you try one here? I guess let me, let me do this one right here real quick. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply, right, because we've got a plus. So log base 8 of x times x minus 12 equals 2, right? We've got to put this times this because it's a plus right here, and that's the property. 
So we have log base 8 of x squared minus 12x equals 2. Now we don't have a log here. So we don't have a log here. We've got to change this to exponential. So we're going to go 8 squared equals x squared minus 12x. So we have x squared minus 12x. I'm going to subtract 64 here. And I'm going to factor x minus um, 64. So it's 16 and 4, so this is going to be x minus, x plus 4, x minus 16. So I'm going to get, I'm going to set these equal to 0, right? That's how I do this last step here. And I'm going to get x equals negative 4, x equals 16. Um, here's the thing, oh, there's the bell. i got to hurry up. So here's the thing, guys. If we get a negative and we plug this guy in here, and this is negative, so if the inside is ever negative, the inside of a logarithm is negative, this is called an extraneous solution, right? Because it does not work. We cannot have a negative inside our value for x. All right, so I'm gonna leave you off with this practice problem, so let's pause it here and then try it. Hopefully you got that, okay? And these are the other two useful properties I wanted to let you know about. Log base b of b, if these match up, then this is equal to one. All right, if, these ma if this log base b is one, then this is going to be zero. And the reason for that is because if I change this to exponential, I'm gonna have this is my base, this is my power, is equal to the inside. Oh yeah, that works, right? This is my base, this is my power, is equal to the inside. Perfect, right? So these are other properties that we'll look at in the next video. Okay, that's it for, for now. I'll see you later, bye.